Bobby Stone. What do you think? You want to go in? No. <laughs> I'm standing in front of my old restaurant, Coquette. I opened this when I was 24 years old, like 13 years ago, and it changed my life because it became one of the best restaurants in New Orleans. My ex, he was the chef, he is the chef there, and we, we broke up, I sold him the restaurant, and that's what enabled me to move to Thailand and start my life over and invest in other businesses and live the expat life in Thailand. And so I'm very grateful for this restaurant. It's very bittersweet seeing it especially that it's not open and it's Sunday brunch time I guess they're only open for dinner now I have a question do you think I should go in sometime this week because I'm here for a week in New Orleans should I go in and just have some appetizers I don't know I'm scared to go in honestly what do you guys think leave me a comment please like this video subscribe right now Luke and I my mom and my dad we're going to Commander's Palace it's two blocks up and I used to work there when I first moved to New Orleans. I got a job at Commander's Palace and I can't wait to try the food. So come along with me. Sunday brunch in New Orleans, you've got to have it. It's like the most iconic meal of the whole week. You're hungry? I'm going to get you some fish and rice, your favorite, okay? Look at these trees, Luke. Do you think they're beautiful? Yeah? Have you ever seen trees like this? No! Yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Today is Halloween and they really love Halloween in New Orleans. All of these houses are decorated. I don't like spooky. Spiders? Spiders? live right down there on Chestnut Street, one block from Commander's Palace. What do you think these trees? Have you seen trees like this before? What? You don't like them? You ready, Luke? Please enjoy y'all. <laughs> we are in the most beautiful dining room and here's our table. They stripe the table for VIPs. This is the stripe. So they have brunch service Saturday and Sunday, and that's when they have the jazz band, which makes it extra special. What point of the game are During the brunch services, they always have three balloons on every table. Thank you. You're not going to like that, Luke. <laughs> I remember these Bloody Marys so well. They are the best Bloody Marys I've ever had. <laughs> so much horseradish, creole seasoning, tangy, spicy. It's topped with a pickled eggplant and pickled okra. <laughs> Could you give this video a quick thumbs up? It really helps the algorithm and our channel. Thank you. A little snack to welcome y'all in from the kitchen. Thank you. Chilled apple cider, pumpkin, gazpacho. It's sweet, it has that basil flavor. Lots of, it was Thai basil. Thai basil. Very refreshing and light. Perfect start to the meal. They have the famous garlic bread. Oh, 
worked at Commander's Palace, you'll never forget the garlic bread. You eat it every day for the first two days you work here, and then you never eat it again. So buttery, garlicky, Parmesan cheese. It's a wild white shrimp beef butterfly and done in a crystal hot sauce for blonde. Shrimp and tasso hennequin. It's butterfly shrimp stuffed with tasso ham served with a pepper jelly, a crystal hot sauce beurre blanc topped with pickled onions and a pickled okra. That crystal hot sauce beurre blanc, that makes it. It's spicy, it's got buttery, it's got the sweet pepper jelly glaze. The sourness from the pickled shrimp, the sourness from the pickled vegetable, explosion of flavors in your mouth, plus the spiciness from the tasso, smokiness from the tasso, sweet, spicy, smoky, salty, and now it's time to look at the menu. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. George got the gumbo. Mom got the Caesar salad. And Luke got bacon. You can eat that bread. You get a whole baguette to yourself, Luke. Mine did not. I don't know. Local roasted winter squash with radicchio, greens, and a sugar cane vinaigrette. And local feta cheese. Mm. The American winter squash is what I miss the most in Thailand. And it's sweet with the sweet vinaigrette, then you have a little bitterness from the radicchio and the greens, creaminess from the feta. Whoa! <laughs> and you got the tornado, beef tornado. And mom, you got the shrimp. Pecan crusted golf fish topped with a creamed corn sauce, wilted greens, and champagne butter poached blue crab. Mm. It's subtle, it's delicious, that sweet corn brings out the, the fish, the pecan to have to give it a little crunchiness. You have the butter poached blue crab on top. Mm. So good. Mm. This is like the signature dish here at Commander's Palace. One of the best. Pecan crusted golf fish. Foster. It was invented by the Brennan's family. It's 
smells like caramelized sugar and rum. Miss T wanted us to bring a couple of extras. Thank that'll look good so, on camera. So much. It's the bread pudding souffle. It's the Lally's praline parfait. And this here is the creme on glaze, so no alcohol in that one. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's the best part. And that one, I like it that one again. You want more sauce, buddy? You want some more sauce? Apple, y'all enjoy. Pecan pie, crawly parfait, and a black forest ice cream sundae. We just got bombed. We just got dessert bombed. <laughs> yummy! Show me your yummy face. <laughs> this is the best one I remember. The praline parfait. Yeah, this is a really good one. No, mom, you're stuffed. You can't eat it. This is. Um, I can still eat this. I love pecan pie when it has that nice, like brown sugar nougat custard. Look at that, mommy. I like that. <laughs> you like this one? It's real whipped cream. That's why. <laughs> No baby. No baby. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, Trey. I don't know what to say. The pecan, butteriness, salty, goodness, gooey, ooey, chewy, delicious. Really good. This is that Black Forest ice cream. The best pecan pie. Yeah, it is. This is Black Forest. Ice cream? Yeah. With cherry? Wow. I love the feeling when you put your spoon into it. You can feel the crunchy pecans. I remember this pecan parfait. Once you've had it, you can never forget it. The pecans? They taste like pecans, but they have the texture of a cookie. I think they're deep fried. Toss some sugar and glaze, and then the whipped cream is so fresh. And then the ice cream, and then this, the caramel sauce. It's so yummy. It's so yummy, right? This is the best you've ever had? Look, we haven't even tried the most famous of all, the no, bread pudding. You gotta try it. Okay. <laughs> you just you just want this ice cream. The most famous dessert of all, Manor's Palace, New Orleans bread pudding made with that light, airy baguette, Leidenheimer bread. It's warm, it's light. The taste of those of the pumpkin spices in there. It's topped with the egg white meringue. Gotta try it. This ice cream is served in a pecan caramel cookie crust. Want it? Gotta share with Gigi and Grandpa. I hope he doesn't get sick. Oh, that's so sweet. He's not finished yet. Luke, don't eat too much. <laughs> happy. Luke's happy. You got a balloon, Luke. Whoa. It's your birthday. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, James. Hey, thanks for that. I'm going down, down the back so I'm going to take you to the kitchen. Thank you. Look, here's the kitchen. <laughs> What? This is where Paul Freehold and Emma Lagoski got their start, right here with Ella Freehold. Yeah. In the last video I showed you Emerald's restaurant, and this is where he got his start. This is where he got famous. In this kitchen, in this restaurant, Commander's Palace, in the heart of the Garden District. Now we're in the bathroom. Yep. Hi. I think this baby is happy. Yep. <laughs> Love your outfit, your soup. Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> what do you think, Liz? You want a hat? You want a hat? You want a hat? A Actually, you want a hat? you're scaring him. Hey, I'm Spider Man dressed in a pumpkin suit. <laughs> yes. What do you think? New Orleans people pride themselves in being unique and different and over the top with everything they do and it's one of the things I love about this city. Luke, what did you get? I got a costume. Did you love that restaurant? Yeah, I got a costume. <laughs> you got a costume. Yeah, you're a chef today. Happy Halloween. If you're in New Orleans, you have to eat at Commander's Palace at least once. I would suggest their jazz brunch Saturday or Sunday. Come and try it. Well, three hours later, and I'm hungry again. I don't just she's kidding. Hungry. She just I'm not hungry, something. but I want to go before the the before the it gets too dark to Restaurant August. It's where I worked after I worked at Commander's Palace. I got a job at Restaurant August, so I want to show you this place. It is one of the best restaurants. It is one of the best restaurants in New Orleans. Are you hungry, Mom? No, <laughs> but I'm gonna eat. Luke, are you hungry? You want some beet salad and crab gnocchi? Want some foie gras three ways, Mom? I'd eat it. <laughs> I like right? foie gras. What was your favorite dish that we had at Commander's Palace? The pecan pie. Yeah, it was so good. Pie. And the shrimp and tasso Anakin. Yeah, the shrimp and tasso Anakin was delicious. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's take a peek into the dining room. This is such a beautiful bar. It's all mahogany, dark wood. So many little details. Is it a bunny or something? Winnie the Pooh? At this restaurant, I got hired as a server, but then I got promoted to a bartender. So it was where I learned how to bartend in this very bar. They had more seats and tables. Yeah. <laughs> and the food is so good. When I worked here, it was Chef Mike Galata who was in the kitchen and he went off and opened his own restaurants called Mofa and Maypop, which are Southeast Asian fusion New Orleans style. So the center <laughs> is filled with uh, oh, you're, you're, oh, is that you're a chicken. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what you wear. The center is filled with. Did they make you wear that? No, it's Halloween, so they last for <laughs> <That's laughs> You're like, this is a good one. It worked out. Because you laid this egg. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Do you do this? Do you um, actually make this? Actually, we do make them. Yes. But do you make it? I do. I actually made these things. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would be sure to eat it. Yeah, the center is filled with, with an airy to cauliflower mousse and it's topped off with a roasted garlic chips and chives. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Here, but you can help. I remember this egg, but I think this is a, a different version of it. It's so light and aerated. It tastes like Parmesan garlic the garlic chips on top it's so subtle that's what i love about this restaurant the flavors are not bold they're subtle and delicate, delicate and it takes a really talented chef to be able to pull this off
The flavors just linger in your mouth. They're so buttery, salty, perfectly salted. It's the major set. So With it. <laughs> put this right here and we'll take yeah, this out away. Yeah, just pile it up. We're casual. Yeah, crispy and oysters. Oysters. Oh, oysters. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, muscle and vinaigrette. And this is a gift from the kitchen here. Oh, thank oh, you wow, so much. Western Yep. Oh, wow. I love their answer. This is something here. that has some to do to the moon. So yeah. Something different for you to try. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. <laughs> P and J oysters, oh, okay. crispy P and J oysters with Louisiana Cajun caviar, buttermilk, and dill, wild mushroom and yolodi with Parmesan and jalapeno vinegar. Look how beautiful this is! Oh my lord! Torshana foie gras with Satsuma jam, local honey, toasted peanuts, and brioche. Where's the brioche? The brioche is right here. Angel pillows. And Yolodi little pillows in Italian. Mm. I first taste that jalapeno, like a charred jalapeno, and then you bite into that Anulodi and creamy, earthy shiitake mushrooms, wild mushrooms. And then it's balanced with a satsuma beurre blanc. And it's so complex, yet so subtle. Mmm. P&J oysters, they're local oysters to Louisiana. Mm. Perfectly fried. We have the butter and milk ranch dressing. A little bit of saltiness from the caviar. So good, right? Mm. That is delicious. Crispy, salty, a hint of dill. Now let's try this foie gras. Foie gras is my favorite thing in the whole world. Get a little peanut on there for my favorite foie gras. Mm. Oh my gosh. I got honey, I got satsuma, I got mustard, but most of all, that foie gras. It is divine. It is silky, rich, luxurious in your mouth. I've died and gone to heaven, you guys. I'm in my happy place. Isn't that incredible? Mm. Mm. Melt in your mouth, delicious foie gras. The brioche is so buttery and luxurious and decadent. And with the foie gras on top, it's just over the top. New Orleans is one fancy place, right? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking well, to you. Well, I don't know who you're talking to. It's one to. fancy place, It is right? very fancy, but it's really a wonderful city to come and eat and enjoy the upscale life. And look who joined us from the Saints game. Did the Saints win? Who that, baby? Of course they won. <laughs> so you're happy. The whole I'm city's so happy. I'm so happy. The city is going to be celebrating this evening. And here we are eating foie gras, buttery, wonderful brioche. Oh my goodness, you gotta love New Orleans. Where could you just wander in off the street to a high quality restaurant like this, no reservation, and sit down and have all of this brought to you? And another great ending to a great meal, little pumpkin pies. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet, is this sweet potato? Mm. Took care of a few things for you all. <clears throat> that crust is so buttery and flaky. <clears throat> And crunchy. And the sweet mom. You gotta try it. Look at my mom. Love me. Thanks, mom. <laughs> this is Nick. So like Jersey Shore. Come and have a drink with him yep. at the bar.